I like it too, baby. What's up, guys? My name is Darius P, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 class setup video. As you can see, we have the SR2 assault rifle fully maxed out, man, and it's gold. So you guys know that I have been playing with this gun the whole, whole lot. I've tested out different attachments, and this is the best setup that I came up with for to share with you guys. So let's get right into it. We're starting out with the optic. Yes, we put an optic on this gun, and guess what? It is going to be the Barracks 3. You guys like, what? There's P? Are you serious? Yes, man. Just trust me. I remember when I was saying that this gun is trash? Well, I don't believe that anymore, man. It is actually a good gun. I was just using it wrong. I put the Barracks 3 optic on it, and man, it changed my whole perspective on the XR2. And I actually kind of like the gun now. Let's move on, man. Now, quick draw is a must for every single one. Well, for the first two assault rifles, in my opinion, quick draw is a must. And I think quick draw is going to be a must for every single uh, gun in the game. Now, let's keep, well, probably except for the pistols and shotguns, but let's keep it going. Now, we moving on, man. Yes, I'm skipping right by grip because I don't think this gun needs it, need it at all. I'm actually going to stop, but let me tell you why I'm not putting grip on the gun. I used the gun with grip, and then I used it without grip, and I didn't see a difference, man. And that was after I put this Barrett's 3 optic on. I did not see a difference at all, man, so I took off grip, put the optic on, and then I put on stock because you need stock to move side to side with this gun. With this gun... It is absolutely necessary, in my opinion, to have stock because sometimes that first burst does not, does not kill your enemy and you need to move very quickly to get your aim on a person if they're jumping or sliding, whatever they're doing. So stock is needed. And now last but most certainly not least, long barrel. Long barrel, even more range on this gun. And look at the stats, man. Look at the stats on this gun right now. They are almost equal. You're leveling out the gun stats, man, when you put long barrel in. I can't wait till I see what these things are. But anyways, that those are my attachments and optics. And like I said, man, my perks are going to stay the same ghost, fast hands, and awareness unless I see a need to change something. And I will let you guys know if I do now. This gun is not very good in close quarters, man. When you get inside those small, those small spaces. So, what we're doing, man, we're adding a secondary to this. The RK5, it is a very, very, very good pistol, man. You can kill him in one burst a lot of times, man. And it is very, very good. So, this gun is very good from medium to long range, especially long range, like, Long range, this gun is very, very good, man. I mean, especially with these, uh, with the Bear 3 and Long Barrel on, it is beastly, man. And when you get up into, like, those small spaces, man, the RK5, switch to the RK5, and you are going to do very, very good. And look at this, swap weapons faster. So if you catch yourself, you shoot a guy long distance, and then the guy spun right behind you. <laughs> Like, it does sometimes happen, then you can switch to the RK-5 and handle your business, man. That is it. That is it for the XR2 class setup video. My name is Darius P. Just try it out, man. Try it out and see how it works for you. See if it works for you. And if it does, let me know in the comment section. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching.